Hello everyone and welcome to the Leo Tech 3 Month Skills Training. I am Alfred Mbayou and I am your tutor for this um, Autodesk Revit architecture. This is the sixth lecture. We started off this course with the Autodesk Revit architecture 2020 version, but we switched to the 2021 version. But trust me, it is not much of a difference between that 2020 and 2021. So I believe you would really understand and you will catch up. So in this tutorial today, we are looking at um, doors and windows. How we can insert and edit door types. Then we can load doors from families and then we insert also windows and their types and edit them. And then we load windows also from family. So hold tight. Let us jump straight into the Revit architecture work environment. I have this simple plan here um, that I drew just for this uh, particular tutorial. So basically we have, this is a three bedroom flat. So here is a master bedroom. You have the other two bedrooms here. You have the living room, you have the dining, the kitchen. Here should be the storage. And that the back here should be like the kitchen yard. So we have a small walkway here. We have this toilet and then we have the shower and for this master bedroom you have the wardrobe here and then you have this uh, water closet this is the main entrance to the building so we want to put some doors as strategic points we want to put a double door here since it is the main entrance to the structure and then we put a single door here and turn into the master bedroom and of course between the master bedroom and this wardrobe here there will be no door here there will just be a room separator at this point and then from the wardrobe to this toilet will just be a single door and then a single door here here there's already one door here and then there should be a door here and into this point okay so let's jump straight into it come to the architectural tab so we pick our door here from the build toolbar under the architectural tab. Now, picking on door, you would first have the chance to select the type from here. So click on this drop down menu. There are bundles of door types here already you can select from, from their dimension, their precept. So you have this first set of door, door assembly, single, then you have this one. So let's just select something basic like this then we go into the edit type so clicking on edit type it comes with us straight to the, the specifications of the door we've selected so you have this uh, window here a preview window of the door positioned on the bearing wall if you want to see a 3d version of it you can click on this small drop down here and then you can select 3d bracket 3d1 you can zoom in and then of course you can see the door type there already so i have done this one before so you will see already beautiful door designs placed at precept so what we will do here is to load in the door family from here so we click on load it will take us to our family door family so these are window families so i will select carefully my door, I know my folder where my families are. They are in the UK. I click on UK. So I look for door. Look at doors here. So I click on this one. Then I have exterior and interior doors and so. So I will start off with the exterior wall because now I want to edit the type of wall that would lead from the main entrance to the living room. That would be an exterior wall. So I will click on this one. I have these piles of door families here I actually extracted from the 2020 version. So to see the icons larger so I get to understand exactly the designs of the doors that will fit my, my liking. I'll just right click, go to view here and then large icon. Now I can see my doors perfectly. So you can scroll all the way down and look for the kind of door that I want to position at that particular entrance main entrance to the building let's say for instance i select this type of door okay this is a single panel door that has some fixed glass um, um 
compartment on the right hand side compartment on the right hand side so i select this one and then i can click open clicking on open here takes me of course this is just a warning that i am picking up our 2020 library bringing it into 2021 so there will be no turning back in that decision so since i have bought this one here now i can give it a name say I give it duplicate from here and then i specify a name say entry door entry door and then i click okay from there i have a specific name for it now so the most important parameter for this particular level of the course that we'll be dealing with for this door is just the dimensions of the door so we are scrolling all the way down to dimensions for now and then we are looking mainly at the height and width of the door so look at height of the door so from here you have 2110 round it off to 220 2200 at 2200 meter millimeter sorry 2200 millimeter and then the width of the door this is the main entrance to the structure so let us give it a one meter or 1500 millimeter 1500 millimeter width then yeah i think these are the most important parameters just see we click ok from here then we can apply this door to this point okay apply this door to this point now on applying the door you see that we have two main grips you have these double arrows pointing back and forth so the one pointing perpendicular to the door length actually sweeps the door panel either to open to the inside or open to the outside I click on the door this one opens the door outside clicking on it again opens the door to the inside so the same thing for this it flips the door inch so the door panel is on the left hand side here presently if i click on this one to take it to the right hand side of the door so you can see between them vice versa so i can go to the 3d for instance i can position a camera here for me to see this door the 3d view this is the door in 3D. Let me just click on this hotspot on the view cube and then get into that setting. So this is the door with position. To see a realistic view of it, I can click on this small cube at the bottom here and then go to realistic view. And then you see that on the left hand side you have that fixed door compartment. And then on the right hand side here you have the panel that actually opens towards the inside. As you've seen from the floor plan view here, this is the fixed panel on the left hand side, and then this is the one that actually opens on the right hand side. So the 3D view, of course, depicts that particular um, structure of the door. So we've positioned the door, the main entrance. So let's see how we can position the other doors. Now I go again to the architectural tab and then I click on door. Now I am selecting a different kind of door. So let's say I select another preset like from here. Um, okay, another design. Say for instance, I select door assembly single two or yeah. Let me select this one and just to serve as a placeholder this one is too much i'll just select something like uh is it this one single door single door this okay as a placeholder then i click on edit type then it takes me to the door specification dialog box now you see here this is a single door on this bearing wall so the next i will do is to change this door design by merely loading in the door family from here so i click on load and then in this same file where i selected the one for the exterior door i can enlarge these icons and then get to see the doors nicely so that i could select the right interior door design so this is a nice design for interior door it has some privacy there's no glass in it 
so I can click on this one and then I open so yeah this is always a warning take any from 2020 bash or 2021 bash yes so this is the door design so you see it's a very nice door so scrolling down again to the dimensions of this door focus on the height change this height to 2200 and then since this is a single door a single door we can put the width to be one meter that is thousand millimeter okay so since we've done this one for this door we can just click ok i mean apply first and see the updates from the preview here then you can click ok from here so this is the door design you are applying at these other small compartments to the living room i mean to the bedrooms and then to the dining so now you see that as i position my cursor on the interior layer of this wall the door flips to the outside then if i move my cursor again to the outside layer you see the door flips to the inside my desire here is the door panel should flip to the inside so i click and then get the door position at that point to that master bedroom and then the same thing to this point again I click get that one positioned I click here get that one again positioned and then I come to this point again to this other bedroom I click get that positioned and then yeah so at this point again I click this position yeah this is a small one in telling you that this opening is actually smaller than the door width so the door has intersected with this um wall that comes to this position so we will sort that out just position the doors for now so i click again at this point and get that one position so i think we've got okay one more remaining at this point so i click i click at this point and get that one position good so i think we've got all the walls leading to the partitions so okay just click on escape and then to solve this problem here i'll just click on this wall move it down a bit move it down more a bit and then click on this window i mean this door i move it down and then i have of course this one so for this since this door opens and closes the, the, the the entrance to this other door i'll choose to flip the inside of this door by clicking this arrow here so the inside changes so there should be one more door at this point so click let me just position any kind of door at this point presently so the kind of door we want here is a really nice design door that has some fixed glass panels on the left and on the right and then you have the single inch or single panel door at the middle so since we've positioned a placeholder here already we can select one and then we can go to edit type in this edit type we can duplicate this wall this door sorry so so let's say it is the the kitchen yard the kitchen yard this is the kitchen yard door okay then we click ok and then i can load in a nice design door just like i said we want a door something similar to this we have the door panel really in the middle but we have some fixed glass panels to the left and right side of this door so we can click on this this could be appropriate for us for that position we click open then it loads it in and then we can go ahead and increase the width of that door because if you do not increase the width of the door you don't see any change here that's kind of a door requires a very wide opening since you are having a single panel door in the middle and you are having some fixed panels towards the left and right so we increase this door width to let's say two meter two meter 
and see if anything changes. Okay, to yeah, 2.5 meter, 2,500. The width of the door, the height remains the same. 2200. So let's say we click OK from here. Now you see, oh, much has not changed. So let's go back to that setting. Let's go back to that setting and load in the family from here. Click open. See what comes of it. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Let's change this door assembly. Okay, good. Yeah, it is in there. So we cross check the width of the door and ensure it is okay. The width here, let me increase it to two meter. Cross check the height again. Let me increase it to two two zero zero. Yeah, then I can click apply to update it from this point. And then I can click OK from there and show this is the door design we want at that point. So I can barely grip on that door and move it to position it nicely. Or I can even specify how far it may be from this left or I mean this right wall here. So we've got this model. So let's go into the 3D and see what we have done. So I can orbit around by holding shift and clicking on my middle mouse button so you see this is exactly what we've done you have this nice panel design door towards the back here to the kitchen yard you have these uh, interior door designs okay okay good so this is how you insert doors and edit them appropriately so let us see how we can put in windows and then edit them. So basically positioning and editing windows in Revit architecture is almost similar to doing the same thing for uh, doors. So let us go straight into, okay, this wall is not connected here. So let me connect it. Okay, good. So let me go into that. Now, to position a window, just click on the window tool here under the architecture tab the build toolbar so i can click on this drop down menu to select a preset place holder so i click on this for instance this is a single plain window but that is not what i will end up with per se so i just click on edit type from here it takes me to the dialog box you have the preview from this point the window design and so so i can load in a family from this point now this is the exterior door family we are in presently. So I got to look for the window family. So window is all the way down here. Double click on this one. I have piles of window design I extracted from the 2020 version. So let me look for a perfect design. So for instance, I look for this. I select this one to be the type of window I'm using. So I click on this one and click on open. Now this loads in the family into that point and I should see a change here. Sure, there is a change. So we are editing the dimensions or maybe we say we just give it a name from here. So we say we have this uh, window. Doesn't matter really. So we click on this one. We've got that name. Now we are editing the width and the height of the window. So the height of the window, let's say we have one and a half meter, that 1,500 millimeter. And then the width of the window is one meter. So we have that. Now, yes, so let's say we have this. And then one important parameter is the head height of the window. So we increase it. The head height of the window mostly should be the same as the door height. So that's the, 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 the head of the window is in line with the, 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 the head of the door so that you get to get your tie beam passing over them uniformly so I specify 2200 here for the head height of the window so that the window coincides with the top of the door and then I can click OK from here now I have that parameter that I set there 
in here and height is the same as 2200 so i can come so you see that i can position this window one on this living room so you see there is a snap if my if my window is positioned at the center point of that particular wall there is a snap at the midpoint you see on the left hand side here and on the right hand side the the, the, the dimensions there are equal 10 20 20 20 on the left and right so i click but before i click i should be careful so the position of intel on the on the window there you see it is flipping towards the inside when my cursor is on the exterior layer of the wall if i bring the cursor on the interior layer of the wall then it flips outside again that is my desire i really want that seal to be on the exterior part so i click when my cursor is towards the interior part of the wall layer then the same thing for here again i ensure my cursor is towards the interior part of the wall layer before i click while sticking note of the snap to the middle point of that partition. So I click here again, I come to this same point, I snap carefully, and then I position one more here, then one on this master bedroom. Yeah, let's say we have all the windows. Let's go into the 3D and see what comes of it. Yeah, this is a warning, I should save. So yes, I save okay so this is the window design i have selected so i can go into of course you see the head height of this window and this door are just the same so let's say we want to modify one this window to the to the living room here we want a different design of a window and then we also want um the, the dimension of this particular window to be different so we can go into its specification so i click on this window to be specific i will go to edit type and then i can load in a new family but i can duplicate and then give it say um living this is a living room window the room window and then i can load in a new family now i load in a different design window that has maybe some bigger panel okay let's look for perfect design perfect design where are you you just select anyone yeah let's see we select this one not to waste time so we are here this is just a small warning from 2020 to 2021 yeah the new year here the new year celebration so we are into this window specification so i merely have to just increase the width of this window the height remains the same so i increase the width the height should be 1500 millimeter but the width let us be some two meter two 2500 millimeter two and a half meter two and a half meter then let's go to the default head height let's increase heat okay this is seal height doesn't matter really so um we can edit that in the property tool palette so we've got this window design from here so we click okay back in here we have of course the default head height could be 220 and you see they still snap into the top of that particular door there so this is the window design we've done to the living room okay so that is fine now let us go to the bathroom windows so here we are let me just enlarge this viewport towards this point now we have these three bathroom windows so i can select all three of them all three of them from this point then i can go to edit type from this edit type and duplicate and call this one maybe bath window bathroom window 
and then I only have to edit the dimensions of these windows. So the height that was supposed to be 1500 millimeter, I am decreasing this one to 700 millimeter, and then the width of it, I am decreasing it to say 500 millimeter. 500 millimeter, okay, and then I click on OK from here. Now this has changed, so I can increase the head height from here to 2200. Now this lifts up all the windows to their default head height for position. So this is how you position, and there is a problem. So you see that the casing of the frame of the windows are kind of wider too much so you see they are very blocky glass sections of the window so i have to click on these go to edit type okay so we are solving that problem by increasing the width of the window increase it to one meter and then let's click apply see the difference from there then we can click OK and then we are into it. So we have this window design. You know, it looks so beautiful, but at least you get a clue of how you can actually modify the height and width of the windows. Okay, so this is basically how we bring in doors and windows into Revit architecture and get to modify them appropriately. So in our next tutorial, we are looking at how we can create floors under this structure. Of course, as you see, there is no floor here presently. We are going to create floors under each partition and then we give them the room designation, room names, and then we calculate the, the floor area for each of the rooms. So see you guys 